ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक वाइकिंग एडवेंचर इट्स अ लास्ट सीरीज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ अ लास्ट सीरीज ऑफ ओ आर टी लेट स्टार्ट विल्फ एंड विल्मा केम टू द डोर इट वॉज द टाइम टू गो टू स्कूल कीपर टोल्ड एवरी वन अबाउट हिज एडवेंचर एट द टेडी बियर्स पिकनिक बट नो बडी बिलीव डिम Biff, Chip, and Wilf were in Mr. Johnson's class. The children liked Mr. Johnson. He made everything interesting, and he told lots of good stories. Mr. Johnson had a model ship. This is the model ship you can see. Can you tell me what sort of ship this is? He asked. Wilf put up his hand. Here is. <clears throat> It's a Viking ship," he said. "Well done, Wilf," said Mr. Johnson. This is Mr. Johnson, his teacher. Mr. Johnson showed the children a picture of a Viking ship. This ship was called a long ship. He said, "It had oars and a sail, and it moved very fast through the water." The Vikings lived a long time ago," said Mr. Johnson. "They crossed the sea in ships like this. This is he is holding a picture in his hand, a big portrait, and he is showing a Viking uh, ship. He uh, they are taking oars and <clears throat> they are sailing in it uh, in the water. They crossed the sea in ships like this." Mr Johnson showed the picture showed the children a viking helmet and a viking shield he is wearing a hat over here they used to wear it uh, while they were fighting this is a shield you can see Mr Johnson helped the children with a viking project it was very interesting they made model long ships and they made viking shields and helmet The, Mr Johnson took the children into the school hall they made a long uh, they made a big long ship then they all dressed up as vikings and pretended to row it it's hard work being a viking said biff <coughs> look how nicely they are uh, having an activity over here in the hall and they are actually having a real model uh, having a ni- uh, viking ship ancient viking ship so the children can experience the real viking ship and how they led their lives the children came home from school they looked at the magic key they wanted it to glow because it had not glowed for a long time keeper told them about his magic adventure but still nobody believed him keeper was upset as you can see him The magic key glowed in the night," he said. "It glowed when it was dark. It did. It did. It did." Biff looked at the key. "I wonder," she said. Biff had a good idea. Maybe the key will glow in the dark," he said. She said. She got a torch. and then she found a big thick blanket the children sat on the floor and they pulled the blanket over themselves it was dark under the blanket suddenly the key began to glow the magic was working after all i told you so said keeper there was no wind the vikings rowed the sh- long ship across the sea every man pulled on the oars it was hard work being a viking suddenly the wind began to blow hooray said the vikings now we can put up the sail the wind can blow the ship along and we won't have to work so hard to sail a ship it, uh, there must be some winds uh, across the sea so the sailor could uh, sail their uh, ships or boats along with the uh, f- flow of uh, winds 
other than uh, then uh, it will be hard for them to row because it's a huge and massive uh, board or ship uh, sometimes and it's very loaded with people and uh, other stuff so that uh, it is hard to row the ship along uh, without the wind in the absence of wind one of the vikings heard a noise he went to look he found the children oh no said will we are on a viking long ship i don't believe it the viking jumped up, jumped back he couldn't believe it either he looked very fierce oh dear said keeper he doesn't look pleased to us pleased to see us the viking pushed the children to the back of the long ship look at all these animals said keeper i don't like it here it smells the wind began to blow harder the viking put up the sail as you can see the wind blew harder and the ship tossed up and down the waves splashed over the children they got cold and wet keeper began to feel sick it's not much fun on a long ship he said here you can see keeper is not very happy at last she <coughs> the long ship landed hooray shouted the vikings they jumped into the water and carried boxes and barrels to the shore the children looked over the side of the long ship i hope we don't have to jump in she uh, said keeper it looks cold and wet you don't have to jump in said the viking i'll throw you in the children waded to the shore the villagers were amazed they had never seen children like these before keeper had some sweets he shared them with the viking children they had never seen sweets before they didn't know what to do with them why they were astonished or surprised because you can see over here they're dressing uh, differently like uh, keeper and babe are having uh, different sort of uh, clothes so the candies and the sweets um, uh, really surprised them because they were from the ancient times and they are coming from the future look how they are making or uh, cooking their meals the vikings took the children into a long hall a fire was burning in the middle of the floor there was smoke everywhere obviously it began to get dark and soon it was time to have some food so this is what viking eats eat said wolf as soon as it it was dark a long ship sailed close to the shore on the long uh, ship were some viking raiders they were going to attack the village you can see over here this this is a new another ship and this is the uh, ship the same ship which they were the three uh, children came so this is the ship of strangers raiders one of the villagers saw the long ship and ran into the long hall help help he called raiders are landing the raiders looked very fierce fierce means angry and um, for the um, sake of uh, uh, to cause a mean or to cause or to uh, put a fierce um, face means that uh, they are having uh, an idea to um, make them uh, scared or uh, cause some harm just like this they ran towards the village they are going to attack said wolf what can we do i wish the magic key would glow said keeper beef had an idea she shone her torch the raiders and the villagers had never seen a light like this before they were frightened and they all fell to the ground they got scared from the torch from the light of the torch 
and they ran uh, ran away the raiders ran back to the long ship and sailed away hooray said the villagers they won't come back here in a hurry <coughs> the vikings looked at beef torch this is a magic thing they said it frightened us but it frightened the raiders even more and it saved the our village the villagers lit a big fire on the beach they had a party to for the children they gave beef a shield thank you said beef it's beautiful you can see a shield over here it's a colorful and a beautiful thing okay and he's uh, having an experience of torch over here the this old, old fellow this man is bringing meal for the children and other beef wanted to give the torch to the vikings but Wolf told her not so, not to. The magic key began to glow. It was time for the adventure to end. We showed the Viking shield to Mr. Johnson. It's very good, said Mr. Johnson. But Viking shields didn't look like this. We looked at Wolf and and smiled. She uh. took the uh, shield uh, to the school and she showed it in the class within the class and uh, to the teacher as well so the teacher was astonished and um, he said that it's very good uh, and the children are taking part in the adventure and this boat was they were discussing the long ship so this is the end of story viking adventures thank you see you soon